few weeks. Uh, I've made a lot of contacts in the state. I've um, had a lot of good close friends and people who have supported me since 1986 who uh, had asked me to get in the race for governor and to uh, uh, make this thing a, a real race and we've looked at all of the ins and outs but uh, uh, after coming to a lot of decision making some personal and otherwise uh, I have decided today at this time to tell you that I will not be a Republican candidate for governor in 2010. So I have uh, I have made my mind up that uh, this has been a good uh, trial run to uh, uh, look at that potential, and I'll be going out at the end of 2010 as uh, Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Service. I will continue to lead the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Service. Uh, we've got a great department that are protecting the people's food supply, uh, stopping. Uh, um, illegal aliens at the border protecting against pests and disease um, and we're going to continue to do that. So uh, at this time if you have any questions I'll try to answer them for you. When you say you won't be running as a Republican, does that leave the door open for an independent run? No, I, I just, uh, I was just making the statement at this time I will not be running as a Republican candidate for governor in 2010. How much of this was pressure from within the party not to run? To avoid a primary? Well, there's, there is a number of people who would like to not have a uh, primary, and I, I think Bill Cotterell had it right today when he stated this will either be the, the greatest plan ever of all times or it's going to be the biggest failure of all times. And, and of course, I, I'm smart enough to know and been through enough campaigns to know that that, will, that knowledge of whether it was great or not will be on election night uh, when all the votes are counted. So I guess we'll, we'll know then. Uh, whether it's the right move to make, uh, I, I have always thought as a former uh, precinct committee man, state committee man, and party chairman that it was good to have uh, campaigns because that's how you energize the base to really get out and want to work in political campaigns. So um, we'll see if, that, if it's the right move, we'll know then. So you are in essence seeding the nomination to well, of course, anything can happen. I mean, uh, uh, you don't know what's going to happen in 11 months. I mean, you don't, they're not even go we don't even know who the candidates are until July a year from now when everybody files their papers and officially gets into the race. Could be other people could get in. Who knows? I don't know. But just because you you're not going to get in, you said at this time, but are you ruling out running at all? <clears throat> well, I'm just saying that at this time, I will not be the Republican a Republican candidate for governor in, two, in 2010. If something were to happen or something down the road uh, made me want to think I should get back in, then I could always do that. If I come here today and tell you I'm absolutely, without a doubt, not going to be in the race, then if that was to happen, and I, I just kind of unlikely I think that it would happen, then you'd say, well, I thought you weren't going to run. So I know how you guys operate. Do you, do you support, <laughs> do you support uh, Bill McCollum for the nomination? You know, I haven't talked to Bill in, in some time. Um, what I plan to do is uh, get with my family and uh, go to the log cabin, uh, take a few days off, um, and I will probably, at some point, I'm sure Bill and I will probably talk about political issues. Not cabinet issues, political issues, uh, and uh, we'll wait and see what happens down the road. With the caveat that things can change down the road, are you available for lieutenant governor? Well, <laughs> you know, at this point, uh, you know, saying uh, whether I would run or not, somebody asked me that the other day, if you don't run for governor, would you, would you run for lieutenant governor? First of all, the governor's candidate it is going to be uh, the one who's going to make that decision. We all know that. Number two, I made the statement the other day, and it's holding true pretty well. If I'm going to take that much heat, I'd like to own the stove. Uh, being lieutenant governor is, uh, is a pretty hot, hot place to be right now, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I, I haven't had a chance to talk with anyone uh, uh, with the McCollum campaign or anyone else about those types of things. Are you, are you about disappointed with the way this has played out? 
Well, I, you know, politics is politics, and, and um, I, I think that uh, I should have known, I guess, a little bit of this uh, when I mentioned to uh, uh, Chairman Greer that I was thinking about the run for governor uh, quite some time ago. Uh, I didn't think about it then, but he did look like the cat that ate the canary, so I have a feeling that maybe this has been in the works for a while. Uh, I just didn't know that. Uh, so, uh, you know, it is what it is, and politics being what they are, uh, we'll have to see how all this plays out. Are you disappointed not to be running? For the job? Well, you know, um, uh, having talked with my wife, Regina, and family members, uh, the unfortunate thing for me there was uh, usually I can out-talk uh, the issue a little bit, but they were giving me more reasons not to run than I could come up with reasons to run. Uh, the fact that this, this situation has gotten uh, pretty rough, tough, and, and, and some of the things that are going on very early shows just how serious this, this is all building. So, you know, uh, I've got a year and a half of my job left. We'll see what happens in the next uh, year or so. Commissioner, aside from your personal disappointment, though, what about the process? What about the democratic process wherein a primary is allegedly the, the mechanism for voters to indicate who they'd like to run? Well, this is what I'm concerned about. I, I, I got to tell you, and I've, I've been very vocal about this, as I told you, I've, I've come up through the party apparatus over the past 25 years. Uh, and I know how tough it was in Brevard County when we had some pretty fractious uh, issues going on in Brevard County when I was party chairman and trying to hold everybody together when you have a huge difference of opinion on issues, it can be really tough. Uh, the one thing that I did that some people didn't like that ended up helping the party was uh, I did not stifle anybody's uh, comments. Uh, whether I agreed with them or not, I allowed everybody at those meetings to have their say when it was over. If there was a vote, however that vote came out, you won or you lost, but you had a chance to get your issues. And I, I've always felt that to, to, for a cohesive party network, you need to do that. Um, there are going to be party people out there uh, at the grassroots who probably aren't going to like it. A lot of them are going to be really disappointed who were trying to get me to get in this race. And I, and I hate to disappoint them, but, you know, facts are facts and numbers are there, and, uh, and I've got to live with the fact that uh, this thing got really tight quick, if you will, on what the, on the money fact, side especially. Should, should we just do away with primaries then? If they're I hope not. I hope we don't do away with primaries because uh, that's where issues are discussed. That's where people will find out who they want for a candidate for whatever office that is. Uh, it has been the standard way to go. It has worked very well. Uh, I think the fact that everybody is pretty much convinced there's not going to be a lot of money uh, in these election cycles, and now we've opened up I don't know how many seats, and, and uh, it looks like leapfrog. There's so many people jumping out of one place and going into another. It's going to create uh, a huge amount of potential for money uh, to be used in campaigns. So um, that, that makes it a tough tough situation. 